Welcome, I'm Kenneth Andre, Tengajutsu Master and Mystic Ninja. Again, everything that I share, everything that I say and do is for a reason. Wonderful jigsaw puzzle piece of gold throughout these videos. The more you listen to them, the more that will jump out at you, okay? If this sounds like a contradiction, investigate further. Okay, so I want to step into the truth about um, what's going on in this world, should we say, and the mysteries that, that can be found in the Bible. I've got to be careful what I say, so I do apologise for stuttering. <laughs> it's wording it correctly. You know, I won't give my ego an inch and I want to approach this, approach this professionally. Um, yeah, it's again, it's so hard to articulate and convey truth in a way that is going to inspire, not provoke a negative connotation. All right. Because the true Christ, when he appears, many do not recognize it. Okay. And the presentation can actually come across as somewhat daunting. It, it's not what people are expecting. Okay. Jesus Christ isn't someone outside of you. It's... It's a process that unfolds within the individuals in the host body system, okay, whereby they go through certain alchemy, a certain mystical process, obtaining the truth of knowledge, good and evil, going through very dark and evil states, ordained by God itself. Now, you tell this to some individuals in the religious belief system, they wouldn't believe it. Christ is the fullness, okay? The Lord Jesus Christ, when he comes, he comes in the Father's name, hence the fullness, all right? Knowing good and evil in the individual by Christ being formed in us, as mentioned in the Bible. And so this happens to angels in the host body system, connecting spirit, truth to Adam, the first earthly man the beast okay god is asleep in the beast this is all christ it's all god okay it's god asleep god is forever birthing himself out of this womb matrix as we're told in the bible okay and the angels come down into this host body system now it's important that you grasp that even in the emerald tablets by faith he points to this fact and makes you aware that there is entities in lower realms that come up during a certain period to cause to cause calamity upon the world stage there is a spiritual battle and there is unseen forces but man has dominion on the checkered board hence the spirits the angels the gods they come into the host body system to to fulfill certain tasks to have scripture unfold within them, to be of, of assistance and messengers, as well as protectors, etc. There's a lot going on in this world, many layers to it, as I've been alluding to in my previous videos. Now, listen to this. Galatians 1.11 I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel I preach is not of human origins. It's not. OK, the true scripture. is nothing to do historically or with the indoctrinations of the religious belief systems. OK, this is all spirit. This is to do with those who are from above and those who come from below in a world of duality in the host body system for a particular reason. All right. There's a lot going on. Again, I'm going to. Say that verse, Galatians 1, 11, in a, in a different translations. 
For I would have you know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel that I preach by me is not man's gospel. I told you there is a secret gospel hidden in the Bible. All right. And only the lamb, those who are truly in Christ, those who are sent by God to the Christ, where the Christ is being formed in man, okay, is of a spiritual, mystical process, not in accordance with the religious belief systems. I can't stress that en enough, okay? Let me readdress this again with first Christ, uh, first Christ, excuse me, Corinthians, first Corinthians 33. <laughs> You are still worldly, for since there is jealousy and quarry among you, are you not worldly? Are you not acting like mere humans? Okay. I've said in my previous videos, if you've been paying attention, I'm not this body, mind, or its concepts. I come from somewhere else. All right. And I was a messenger sent to fulfill a task. And I come from the future where eternity is. And that's going to sound very strange to people. I retrograde and come into the past. This is the past. Creation is complete from the beginning where the worlds are created through the word and it has its ages. And hence, when you go on your journey, you retrograde, you go into the womb, into the matrix during a particular time. OK. With a promise from spirit we know our father the invisible spirit who's above all through all and in all who's light love and spirit as we are told in the bible he's our first love right when we were the angelic celestial beings okay but we were virgins we were yet still to learn the depths the depths of god all right to know of the tree of knowledge of good and evil to become like one of the gods and so we were like these virgin angels this is all foretold us in the scripture and so he put us in the specter the spectrum into this world in a particular age for the best process which brings us to the harvest okay i mean reality is not what it seems time is not what it seems right you have to think multi-dimensional you have to be like a child of god to enter his kingdom the world is only the illusion all strawberry fields it never changes all right it says that in the bible it's nothing new under the sun it's a pattern it just keeps going around looping all right it's the first gate of hell limbo and we are told and revealed to us from scripture this is shield all right where man upon this grid the earth that never changes man humanity the masses is setting up the age where the angel over the pit has dominion the devil through man because man has dominion on the stage earth the grid okay listen to this first corinthians 9 8 do i say this from a human perspective doesn't the law say the same thing all right Those who are real, who have in the host body system, who, who have come from above, okay, from elsewhere, also mentioned by Foth and a lot of ancient texts. Uh, there is a reason why you go through it. I've got to be careful what I, I say and, and make sure I word it correctly. Because many of us know that this is not our world. All right. Some of you out there know that something was wrong with the world. You'd never fitted in. It was strange. However, there was a reason for us coming here. A promise mentioned to us by Father in Scripture. All right. Now, there's a reason why we call the great master the light. 
Father. All right. The living true Father, where everything is poured forth from. However, God, Spirit, Light, is the all in all. He's above all, through all, in in all, and it's Father, Mother. It's it's not just that. It's so much more that the words there isn't words to describe the fullness of God. We can't comprehend the depths of God. Um, our minds can't comprehend it. Okay, so. With the degree that we find ourselves in and at being, okay, we get glimpses through symbolism, through revelation. And we build this personal relationship with the Father. Greater is he that is in us than he, me, that's in the world. All right. Yet we are being formed and made in the likeness and image of our Father through the Christ being formed in us. And we starting off as God's sheep, we hear that voice. We remember because we are from that source. And so we do know our God. We do know our father enough to know that he's infinite. We are one in spirit and in truth with that source of light and spirit and love and intelligence and wisdom of the highest kind. And we communicate with that spirit personally. It looks after us. It provides for us. It does everything for us. This is the wonderful relationship you come back into remembrance of. Hence, it becomes your first love. Listen to this. First Corinthians 1, 11 to 13. My brothers, some from Chloe's household, right, that's a particular state of mind, have informed me that, or a religious belief system as well, again, still should we say the belief system state of mind informed me that there are quarries among you what i mean is this individuals among you are saying i follow paul i follow a Aposith, i follow cephas i follow christ don't we have that today people say i follow christ all right is christ divided was paul crucified for you were you baptized into the name of paul now, remember, if you follow scripture, we are all baptized in Christ into death in this world of darkness. You can't say I follow Christ when Christ is being formed in you. All right. Christ is doing all the works. You can do nothing. All right. Hence, the father says, you did not choose me. I chose you. I will do my will. I am forming you. It tells you all these things that he's doing. And we start off in darkness as the beast, as Cain, as Lucifer. And God ordained this, that you would know the fullness of God by going through the seven eyes of the Lamb. All right. If you're following a Christ outside of you, then you're going into death. And you're spiritually bl blind, blind, deaf and dumb. No disrespect. OK, I'm just literally sharing what it is all right we must be willing to face the truth okay and be willing to listen to wisdom when it is present okay because the wise listen the wise man listens to a wise another wise man but the foolish they rebuke everything i cannot stress enough if you have christ outside of yourself and waiting for a figure as an image the man in the checkerboard the host body system to come and save you it's never going to happen and you're going to well you're going to be deceived all right read your scripture christ is being formed in you father says i travel with you again in birth until christ be formed in you that's your first. That's what you want to pay attention to. All right. It all points in you. It keeps telling you in you, in you, in you. If you put something outside of yourself, you've made a grave of an image, an idol. OK, if you do not confess that Lord Jesus Christ has come in the flesh in you, you are an antichrist. Read your scripture. Now, antichrist, a lot of people have this idea what Christ is, the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ is the father. 
And the lamb is the pattern of salvation that is formed in us, that sprinkles us with wisdom and knowledge, with the blood of the lamb that heals your conscience after everything that you've gone through. Why is that important? And why is it stated that in the Bible? Because you're going to experience evil. Okay, you're going to do evil acts. You're going to do all sorts of um, evil abominations, lying and stealing and all sorts of things throughout your life. OK, and you're going to and this is also on a spiritual level when you're using your thoughts in hate and you wish someone dead and etc. You are killing. You are dampening your light and you're also sending negative thought vibrations out and gurgitating and perpetuating this vampiric and cannibalistic world and hence we all start off as the hunter all right but we're meant to we were destined to do that okay let me share this with you here is the dog star orion okay taurus with pleiades the seven sisters this is why you got to think more multi-dimensional as well and be willing to move symbols, emerge them, even move the stars. This is what angels do. Hence, a slight degree, there is this alignment. You usually you'll find Sirius the dog star here pointing right through to Taurus here. But if you change them the slight degree, you get like this image here, the symbol. That's Christ. Mercury. Okay, the messenger that's formed in you. Right. God is in the bull, in man, the beast. It rises up through the Christ being formed in you, where you are the all in all, the alpha and omega. And Christ is in the mists of the lampstand in you. OK, knowing the fullness of God. Hence, you have compassion. You have love. But to a lot of religious belief systems, you're going to come across as something evil, dark, satanic. Right. Yet the earth belongs to the Lord, the fullness thereof. And God is the Lord of all flesh. But the flesh wars against the spirit, as we are told. Hence, there must be an agreement. There must be a merging, an acceptance, a balance. This is the brass feet and the brass serpent that Moses put up on the staff. Your spine is the staff and the rod. OK. Whereby... You wield the power. Let me see if I can quickly. All right, let me just show you that letter in the Hebrew alphabet. All right, it's the tallest uh, uh, letter, Lem, if I can say it right. It's L, the middle of the Hebrew alphabet. And it's a rod, a staff. The serpent is at the bottom in your root chakra and it will rise up. In other belief systems, it's called the Kundalini, etc. Neville Goddard also mentioned about the fiery serpent that rises up through the spine. Okay. And hence there is this marriage, this alchemical marriage, the bride and bride, the bride and bridegroom. Okay. The acceptance of truth of Christ with your fast is full of wisdom. OK, going through Mercury, going through the houses where you will have. Hang on, I'll show you something. Right, I'm back. Here's my bowl. <laughs> right. Just taking a cooking bowl and I've put all the constellations on there. All right, all the houses. See this? All right. This is the 12 stars, the 12 houses that you're going to wear as a crown. However, there's a secret house that me needs to be added. Let me see if I can draw that on there now for you. I left it downstairs. I'll do it with this. How many apostles does jesus christ have 12th where's the 13th orphacus okay the 13th secret sign right 
where this is formed. You are in completion, fullness, knowing of the tree of good and evil, whereby to the pure all things are pure. You see God. You see him through the eyes of the God. Seen through the eyes of God, the seven eyes of the Lamb. And you see that it's perfect. It's genius. It's love, wisdom and power of the highest kind. And you've got nothing but love and compassion towards everyone and everything. It has its reason for being. It's all of God. It's creation itself. And we are being formed from the foundation of the earth. Read your scripture. So do not judge yourself, right? It's all God's play and it's all for a reason. No one has to be guilty, right? You did not act alone. We are told this in the Bible. We are all fulfilling scripture, whether you're aware of it or not. Okay. Hence, you should know the truth and the truth to set you free. You are a spiritual, angelic being. Whether it be an archangel, angel, a god, a celestial being. This is what you are. Come down into the host body system to go through the houses, the states, all right? That you would wear like a crown. <laughs> Bold, man. Like a crown. See what I mean? The blazing stars, 13 of them, the fullness, all right? Like motive, in another translation, it's got horns. I did a, a picture of this years ago in my slides, okay? Motive was actually taken out of a basket from the river Nile, was he not? What was basket again? Wickedness. Moses was coming out of wickedness. Hence, when he cracked the rock, and remember, he was in the wilderness for 40 days, the same as Christ, it's the same pattern, but the New Testament is the fulfillment of the scripture that unfolds in you. Moses cracked the rock and vials poured out of it, and he was talking to the rock. This is the rock. And he couldn't go into the promised land just yet. He had to get buried. Why? Because Joseph, through the lineage of uh, Jesse, David, all through the characters, okay, to Elijah, to John, Christ, okay, it unfolds within you. The revelation of the truth whereby one day you will judge angels, as we are told in the Bible. All right. Why? Because now you know the fullness of God, the truth. Back home, we are all equal and the same in spirit and in truth. It's all God. Learn of the tree of knowledge and we're back to the future. Okay? From the beginning, enjoying home again for the first time in the fullness of God's wonderful creation. All right? It's genius. It's fantastic. And so the things I talk about is not of human origins or the human indoctrinations, the, the belief systems of this world, the things I talk about and reveal is from spirit and all glory to my father, to the living father, the Lord Jesus Christ that's in me, that's in you. I'm not coming as a figure. Christ, I saw the image of the Lord Jesus Christ, the wall of hair, all right, wisdom, I saw the brass feet, me going through all the bloody bo uh, bowls of wrath, going through the furnaces of affliction, the lake of fire, okay, with the vortices pinned to my hand because I'm pinned to this cross, all right? This is not my garment, but Christ comes in a garment, in a vesture for the blood. Here I am. And so I saw this image, the exact same image that was in Revelation in my mind's eye, and it was the spirit side of me being formed symbolically in that image hence you fulfill scripture and it's not saying out there that someone's going to come along and say oh i'm the christ man is as nothing all right this body is as nothing as he says you'll throw them down but you these bodies like robes and garments you'll throw them down but you remain the same and your years will never end okay if someone says they are the christ don't believe it okay when i say about the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the Christ being formed in you. This is all for you. If someone says here's the Christ. Or he's over there. As it says in scripture. You don't believe it. Christ rises up in the individuals. All across the, the world. Through the 144,000. And it's not a number. 
it's a secret code 144,000 it's those who are truly uh, going through a process having scripture fulfilled in them all right where they are the reflection of the Christ being formed in them through after going through the fires of affliction you're going to be tried and tested okay I wouldn't trust anyone out there unless they've really gone through a lot because that's the true children of God okay you know when scripture has been fulfilled in them and and the words that they are sharing you know that God is waking up in them all right and you show re respect and um, gratitude that father has again brought one of your brothers and sisters to you in like mind we get separated in this journey and it's very hard to find another like yourself while you're on your journey because this is God's curriculum okay to be molded individualized that's why it's so lonely and so if you do come across someone who is uh, a like mind gone through the very same processes it is a blessing okay and again all gratitude goes to spirit for for these events that may happen okay but it's very very rare okay because we're separated purposely because we're going through our own unique journeys all right what time we got okay so it does appear that we are coming to a wonderful transformation all right we we know we're we're moving into the new age we feel the completion within ourselves and we are here shining a light sh shining our light giving what it is that we receive one can only give what one is i know this is what i'm tasked to do give this knowledge it's all from spirit all credit goes to lord jesus christ who is god who is formed in us all right there isn't a man on a world stage that's going to come all right or someone in the clouds the clouds is being formed as in here first is the storm and then jesus comes with his army okay the 144,000, those who are real should we say angelic beings who come into awakening realization where we are the truth and remembrance and so hence the angels the gods have come back during this time to help man during these times of calamity because the dark brotherhood as mentioned by faith all right it, this spiritual battle that was going on behind the scenes but many see it not and hence you get a lot of people and the masses in travail or are confused and upset because they have no idea what's going on behind the scenes all right because there is a real spiritual battle going on now with that being said in christ you are free indeed and satan is put to death in you all right and so you've got to be aware that the evils that are sent god is in control of everything and it's for a reason it's part of the alchemical process the alchemy to be tried in the furnace of the affliction that through your hard trials through your battles you are you go from strength to strength as we are told in the bible it's like in the army that you know you get put through the, the most extreme states tested all right it makes you stronger and stronger and stronger and it's no different with spirit in fact it's worse <laughs> it's crazy to say that like i said uh, over these 11 years it's been the most horrific thing i've ever gone through a real spiritual awakening and to come into this truth but it's phenomenal okay and hence i see the play i see it's like a school like a factory that i don't really want to call it anything or coin it or give it a, a term a name it's it's god's divine wonderful process 
of putting his children through his wonderful creation that they will come out reflecting his son all right and it's you so what about you think about it. you're you're the observer of your reality as an individual regardless of what people think or do or say all right one can only give what one is and first you need to do the deep search into the depths of god okay for your soul for your spirit what time we got in the emerald tablets of faith he makes this he makes it he emphasizes the point the importance of the soul the spirit the spirit's perfect but the soul needs perfecting okay and even though and he says even though we're not perfect and i would again state here be yourself but we strive to go to become stronger and better okay to reflect that christ to have compassion and love and to see that it's all god's play and not to measure or judge or criticize but to accept everyone no matter what belief system they're in no matter what state they what degree of mental state they are or presentation that is presented before you you judge and measure it not but you love it as yourself because there is only god right the everything is all god's variance all the logos infinite states good and evil and it's all part of god's creation and god is love all right the things you're going to be doing later on which you learn about if you seek scripture ancient texts and listen to faith etc okay even in the bible it says the apostles say the things that is coming even though we're going through this it will be as nothing to the wonderful things that you're going to experience and be and have and do etc okay so why we're here we must gra get n grasp the truth get knowledge and wisdom come from a place of love non-judgmental measure not okay share what it is that you have hence we are told to record everything on the scroll write on a scroll and share it pass it along okay like the truth drop in the movie lucy pass on your knowledge all right it's true all the characters in the bible is all within you you are the temple of god i cannot stress that enough you are fulfilling scripture whether you are conscious of it or not there is a lot going on in this world and time is not what it seems there is things going on here that well i just couldn't even articulate and convey at this time or try to give a basic precept or concept upon okay reality is not what it seems time is not what it seems you are here for a reason you do the works now to set yourself free from the matrix from limbo okay and pay attention to the signs whereby you know that you're about to receive the signal the call which will translate you transform you into the new age into the future or if you're waiting outside yourself and you you turn away from these truths and you're happy with the things of the world then you keep going around the treadmill around the uh track on the treadmill on the ferris wheel you just keep going around and around okay uh and there's only so much you'll you will do of that throughout the ages before that thirst will come after you drank the cup of this world okay you're going to ask spirit you're going to hand over your cap your cup to spirit and ask for a new one guarantee it <laughs> okay and when you see when you see the truth it's going to be disturbing all right but this is why you're here it's all god's divine plan and this is what the angels are here to do okay drink from this cup in these states of mind we're asleep it's the land of the dead the land of dreams okay and it, it's it's phenomenal to experience it to have the eyes to see i am truly grateful and humble 
I know many are still going on uh, about this, this rapture. God said, I will not bring you back to this land, or should we say future, until I've done what I've promised you. What's that promise? To bring you into life, the crown of life, to give you the crown of life, the crown of life. All right. You have to wear the 13 stars. Right. To know the fullness of God. You are fulfilling scripture. We got to go through the eyes of the lamb where we whereby we made in the likeness and image of our father. We started off in the likeness and image of Lucifer. But we've got to redeem the Lucifer in us, the Satan. OK, Lucifer and make him glorious again like he was in the beginning. If you listen to the scripture, God's praised prized angel. Well, that's you. But you were cut short. OK, you are brought down to shield. Cut down to the root, to the stump, as it says. Hence, Jesse, the root, the vine of Jesus Christ can grow, okay, in its fullness. Then you become the tree of good and evil. And this is, there's so much symbolism to all this. It's all scripture being fulfilled in you. I keep saying this so you, you get it in here. So you don't get fooled by indoctrination because when you first listen to me or you go into knowledge and you do go down certain religious narratives, OK, you're going to be put to death. Well, I'm here to help with the resurrection, to lift you up, to give you life. OK, you may first follow me without following anyone else where you may get put to death. If you keep going, there'll be life and resurrection. OK. This is the message from above, from spirit, from within me to you from you to yourself that makes sense okay because there's only one here O israel the lord our god the lord is one and so what you hear from me is from you it's from the one it's from the source and so you're listening to this for a reason okay but there is so much confusion there is so much deception there is this psychological warfare going on i don't see it as that no more okay i don't need to put the armor of god on because I, I, I now confess that Lord Jesus Christ is here in the flesh and he's killed Satan, or shall we say redeemed, transformed, transfigured into that shiny being, the reflection of Christ. OK, so Christ, the pattern is being fulfilled. So if that's being fulfilled and I'm free in Christ indeed. Scripture is being fulfilled. I'm not part of the law. I don't need to make no more judgments. I don't need to do anything. Christ has done it all within me. And so here I am shining and reflecting that Christ image. It's absolutely phenomenal in the hope that you can relate, that you're going through certain processes, that the, these words will give you comfort. And you'll be like, OK, all right, don't worry about what signs you have or have not seen what's important that you start the work now to get you out of these cycles so you don't leave from home again so you can get out the matrix all right i know i've already felt in my spirit this is my last time here and i'm doing the best i can to share everything that father has given me and i have not wasted my time i study day and night and this is from spirit to you so all credit goes to lord jesus christ i cannot stay it's not from me go through these videos if you follow me and you go and look at my slides <coughs> excuse me it will become very apparent it's not from me because i couldn't put this stuff together and as you start and put as you start putting stuff together and getting revelations and having mystical experiences what I've just said is going to make perfect sense to you. I'm Kenneth Andre, Tango Jitsu Master and Mystic Ninja. I love you guys. Have a good day.